Well, howdy, y'all. My name is Reverend, but I guess for this battle, I'm gonna be your Krankenstein. And this is a team that was built by Dennis EG around the Mega Tyranitar Conkelder core that I made a video about a few days ago. This was his take on that core because I posted it in the team building workshop thread in OU, which is where I've gotten another team from before the Mega Metacham Volcarona team, which was made by Arch Phantom that I made a video about a while ago. Both of these teams really fucking dank, and the way that he went about it was he added a really strong defensive backbone with the Grasswater Fire Core of Celebi, Rotom Wash, and Talonflame, which really helps because Conkelder and Tyranitar are both so slow that you can't really take it into offensive of a direction, so they have really nice synergy together. Celebi provides Stealth Rocks and has Psychic, which lures Mega Venusaur, which getting that out of the way is really appreciated for Conkelder and Tyranitar. And Talonflame is Bulk Up Will-O-Wisp, which does a lot of things, but the most interesting part about it is that it fucking destroys Mega Sableye, which is another Pokemon that Tyranitar and Conkelder really struggle with. And then the team is rounded out by Balloon Sand Rush Excadrill, which just works really well with Tyranitar, obviously. Also provides hazard removal, which is really appreciated for Tyranitar and Talonflame. And also just gives like a lot of switch in other than Tyranitar, which is just fantastic. So looking at this dude's team, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking leading off with Ogres Have Layers because that was a terrible idea because it can't do anything to like five of this dude's Pokemon. So I immediately have to go out into Ronda Rousey while he goes out into his Latios and then goes for the fucking turn two Calm Mind setup with the Mega Latios while I still have a full health dark type Pokemon on my team. So really going for gold there, but it didn't particularly work out. The Tyranitar is obviously not going to care about this crunch, and I thought this was the easiest switch into Ronda Rousey of my career, but this motherfucker makes it look like 2004 with this Tyranna Boa, so I guess that there's like at least one person on Pokemon Showdown that's older than like 13. And I am going to eat a pretty juicy focus punch, but at this point he has to switch out. Know that he's going to go into his Azumarill, and it does not appreciate that poison jab at all. That is the only reason that this set exists, so I'm really glad that I was able to actually kill a fairy with that. I definitely got really noited out when I saw a gunk shot, because I thought I was going to be switching into a drain punch, but that does absolutely nothing to Black Tongue. And the Heatran is going to catch a will o -Wisp, but just go out into Alan Tudic, and I'm like, okay, training bra is coming off, gotta make the big play. Oh, why am I so good? I definitely thought that he was going to switch out into either his Toxicroak or his Latias. Unfortunately, doesn't work out well for me at all, and I just have to let Ronda Rousey catch this roided out Lava Plume, which is pretty unfortunate, but she wasn't really going to be doing too much on my team at this point. Go out into There Goes Tokyo. Don't really want to set up right now, because I don't think that I'm going to be able to kill his Toxicroak with anything at plus one, because like the only move I have that it doesn't resist is like Ice Punch. Just go for a crunch now while he does just switch into his Toxicroak. Um, luckily for me, I don't catch a Gunk Shot while I bring Ogres Have Layers in on this, and even if I had, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because I go for a Stealth Rock on this turn and catch a Gunk Shot for absolutely no damage, because this Toxicroak isn't Life Orb for some reason. I don't know what the fuck item that is, like, I guess it has to be, like, Expert Belt or something, but it's doing absolutely no damage. And I do finally go down, but that's fine, because the only thing that I really would have needed Ogres Have Layers for at that point is to, like, deal with this dude's Rotom, but it wasn't really going to be doing that much damage to it, it was just like a switch in. Go for a will -Wisp. I knew he was probably going to go into his Heatran, but I knew that if he did that, he was just going to go into his Toxicroak again anyway, so I just go for a another will o -Wisp because he thought that I was going to go for a Hydro Pump and just try to like heal it off with Dry Skin, but I actually know what Toxicroak does, so I don't let him do that. Go out into, there goes Tokyo here, because I know that the Sandstream combined with the Burn is going to kill it this turn, so I don't have to worry about catching a Drain Punch. His Rotom Wash is going to come out, and I go out into the hard Rotom Wash counter, Sand Rush Excadrill. I knew that I was going to get burned, I don't really care about that. Like, I absolutely wasn't going to be doing anything to this dude's team with Mr. Rossetti, as long as he has a Mega Latios and a Rotom Wash. All I wanted to do was Rapid Spin Away the Rocks for Black Tongue, and I end up getting a Crit Rock Slide, and he misses two Hydro Pumps. That doesn't really end up mattering at all, and I didn't want to do that. Like, I just, 
I yearn for the sweet release of death, because all I want to do is bring in anything else right now. Which I'm finally going to be able to do, bring out Alan Tudyk, just go for a Volt Switch while he is just going to go out into his Latias, which is actually fucking fantastic for me, because this is only the freest Dragon Dance, and I can go ahead and set up, and at this point, there goes Tokyo, has absolutely no obstacles left to just go ahead and tear this dude's team up. Go ahead and take out the Heatran with the boosted crunch. Get a crit crunch on the Rotom Wash, I'm almost certain that didn't matter. He is going to bring out his Tyranitar, catches a crit Stone Edge once again, that absolutely did not matter at all, and then the Megalodios is obviously not going to appreciate this boosted crunch at all, so something about Mega Tyranitar just feels really satisfying whenever you sweep people with it, and I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's just because it's like this fucking, this hulking kaiju monstrosity. Like, I was talking shit about its design earlier. I think that the only reason I don't like its design is because, like, stock Tyranitar is so well designed, but Mega Tyranitar is still definitely really just, like, imposing, and it feels really good to just go ham on people's teams with. So, here's a battle that I had with noted Peach Senpai Mucho, because this kid was trying to step rank against the champion of the cave, and I wasn't going to let it happen, which I proved by leading off with Ogres Have Layers again, because I have no pattern recognition, and it was a terrible idea again, so I have to go out into Black Tongue immediately, but he is not going to care about that Shadow Ball at all, and I know that Mucho is going to go into Heatran, so I just make the double out into There Goes Tokyo, and just go for a crunch, because at this point I can't... I can't set up, because I'm not going to be sweeping him with, like, a full health Keldeo still on his team. And I know that he's going to go into the Keldeo now. So, just make the Dankest double out into Ogres Have Layers. Just go for a Thunder Wave, because I knew that he was either going to go into Latios or Gengar. I definitely didn't expect him to stay in, and I didn't really need to prioritize Stealth Rocks, because it doesn't really impact his team too much at this point, which I can go for here. And he's just gonna, like... We're gonna play this game of grab ass here until I end up being slower than he is, because he's just gonna keep going for these icy ones. None of them crit, and like, none of them do any damage, but after about five icy wins, he's gonna put me at the really weird fucking fraction of a speed that you end up being. Like, here, like fucking 0.29 times, like why? But I'm definitely slower than the Keldeo at this point, but I know that he's going to want to switch out, so... I end up going out into Alan Tudyk while the Gengar comes out. I don't. I didn't really know what he was gonna go into. I catch a Sludge Bomb, go for the hypest pain split ever. Oh, that that 11% was crucial. And for my ignorance, I'm just gonna catch a crit Sludge Bomb. So rip Alan Tudyk, wash, dying again, which is pretty sad. But Black Tongue is going to come in for free and not get poisoned by the Sludge Bomb. What a soldier! Go ahead and set up a bulk up. I don't go for a Roost here because I knew that I could kill the Gengar at that point. I was really hoping that this would two-hit KO the Heatran, not even fucking close, and I go for a Roost, which is actually really dumb, because I knew that he had Toxic, but I am just gonna get roared out, which is actually way better for me. Ronda Rousey is going to come out, go for a superpower, because like, if he had gone into Gengar, I could have just hit it with an Ice Punch on the next turn anyway, to fucking kill it, because I wasn't really scared of anything it was gonna do, because it's not Life Orb, and it would have done a shitload to the Latios anyway, even though it's resisted, but the Latios does come out, I'm like, okay, Easiest Tyranitar switch ever, and he, he busts out the fucking technology. The Dragon Dance Megalodios, I did not expect that Earthquake to kill me at all. I was like, oh, 150 base defense, fucking unkillable. But I do end up going down, Mr. Rossetti comes out, he's still got a Slowbro, so this Iron Head is going to do, like, less than nothing. I'd go for the Rapid Spin, because I was like, oh, well, you know, Black Tongue can definitely save me, and then... I just kind of rage quit on this turn, because like, at this point I didn't have anything that could kill this Slowbro. It was just gonna be a bunch of turns of me doing like 20% to it until I just like, you know, drive into a lake in real life. I don't know, the point is you suck, Mucho. You and I both know. The only reason you won't peach ditto me is because you're so scared. 